Western sufferers get a perfect night's sleep. Well, the response to our story has been overwhelming. It was fantastic. It was the best one that I'd used personally. It's a great Australian success story. A quiet achiever that's become an overnight sensation. And what I tell my patients is it's like having an extra eight hours of treatment tonight. The pillow factory is working overtime to keep up with demand for this Aussie invention. I haven't seen anything like it before. How many calls in the first 24 hours? Oh, look, there'd be thousands. I mean, I couldn't really get thousands. It all started a few months back when Mo Hilu mm -hmm. appeared on A Current Affair. The medical scientist and registered chiropractor had spent 10 years creating the ultimate pillow, spinal ease. I've just never looked back. No more neck pain. It just feels like you're sort of on air. Don't believe the doctors. Try Mo's pillow. Back then, it had a cult following among his patients. Oh, this is nice. I like it. But when our story went to air, Mo went from selling one or two a week... It definitely feels good. It's got a good feel to it. ...to having thousands and thousands of customers all wanting pain relief. Oh, yeah. yeah I'd buy one of those. You'd always wanted to get this pillow out there to people. Well, it did, you know, for those who were suffering, the best thing for them was to get them a good night's sleep. Yeah, but when it finally happened and the phones were going berserk... I couldn't believe it. You went into meltdown. I did, absolutely. I had to look for help. Well, it has done me in at the moment. <laughs> it's incredible. The Patients, Lisa and Jeff, have offered to help. And we called in entrepreneur Justin Herald to give his advice. It's strange to see a crisis meeting when business is booming. But there's two ways a business will fail. Number one, you don't sell anything or it doesn't work. And number two, it grows so quickly that you're not prepared for that. I think you need to sort of pass it over to someone who isn't emotionally attached to the product. So Jeff is now taking care of business, allowing Mo to take care of his patients. As for the pillow, well, the orders just keep on coming. I still can't believe it. I'm still trying to you know, come to grips with it, really. And there is a little bit of interest from overseas? Oh, there is, yeah. The UK, US, um, uh, Europe and Japan. It's a great Aussie invention. It is, isn't it? Australian-made, Australian-owned. I'm not a salesman, so I'm not going to push anything that I don't truly believe in. Physiotherapist Jerome Finkelstein, remedial massage therapist Sally Davies and chiropractor Mark Simmons are all true believers. They're really good for back or neck pain, uh, joint stiffness, osteoarthritis, uh, it's even good for snoring. The Spinal Ease pillow is the, the only pillow that I've recommended to my clients. To me the best, uh, the best response is when somebody buys one for themselves and comes back a couple of days later to buy one for, uh, for their partner or for their children and a lot of patients do. One of my patients uh, loves her pillow so much, she, uh, it's the first thing she packs in a suitcase when she goes away on holidays. Ben Fordham reporting, and for the record, a Spinal Ease pillow sells for $152 and